People who were evacuated from their homes in Grindavik in southwestern Iceland said on November 16 they dreaded the future as the risk of volcanic eruption remains high. Nearly 4,000 people from the fishing town were evacuated on November 11 after seismic activity and underground lava flows intensified on the Reykjanes Peninsula near the capital Reykjavik over the weekend. Since then, earthquakes have continued and the risk of an eruption remains high. The town has been deserted beyond the odd car and a handful of locals who have been allowed to go back there to collect their most important belongings. People wanting to go to the town to pick up belongings have had to queue at a roadblock. Some residents had to be driven into Grindavik in emergency responders' vehicles, while most inhabitants were allowed to drive into Grindavik in their private cars accompanied by emergency personnel. It's like sitting in a very boring movie, but you're stuck there. You can't get out of it. It's, it's unreal. It's hard to digest. No. Since it didn't start already, you know, I've been, for the last four days, I've been just, when I wake up, after kind of bad sleep, you know, it's so worrying. I check the news, check the news. I've been expecting it to start. But I am getting a little bit more hopeful that it's not going to erupt in the town. I hope it starts out in the ocean. It would be great to get a new island and the entrance to the harbor will be better. New fishing ground. So you have to be optimistic. Uh, yesterday I waited on the other side for five hours just to go home to get some stuff from a house and uh, I'm not sure about the town, it looks awful. It's very hard to go there and see everything. I hope so and I think so. Even though half of the town would go under well, if the harbor will be okay, it's gonna build up again. If the harbor goes, I think it's over. My house is okay, but it's on the red area, so it's uh, it has collapsed. Uh, you know, the earth has collapsed about one meter or something. So uh, the lava, uh, you know, is under our house. So I'm not sure. We don't know if we're gonna have a home or what. Because if it doesn't erupt, we don't know anything. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to see. Uh, hopefully I, my house is okay. Yeah. Everything we do now since Friday is waiting. So people just wait in a line like this every day. Can I go into my house or, or the area to pick up some things? Because we have a, a business there. That place is ruined. To be honest, I'm not that excited to go back there. Uh, because I, I don't think we'll ever feel safe after knowing what has happened there.